Welcome back. Feature Creature is back. We missed them while the zoo was closed, but Emily Smicker and our friend Norbert is joining us today. Thanks so much for coming in. Hello. We're excited to be back and we're excited to be open again. Very cool. And you guys had, we just talked about it, you had a free day last week. Mm -hmm. You had so many people just coming out and seeing the animals that they missed during that short period oh of close. Oh my gosh, yes. And the animals and staff have been so excited to welcome everybody back. If you've been back to the zoo, you saw how interactive the animals are. They really miss their visitors over the winter months. So it's it's really refreshing to have everyone back on grounds. Very nice. And can you introduce our feature creature today? Absolutely. This is Norbert. He is a young bearded dragon. Um, he's probably a pretty familiar looking as they are very popular pets in when it comes to reptiles. He's very uh, relaxed right now, Aww. you can see. So these guys are actually native to areas in Australia and there's seven different species. Um, and like I said, these guys make very popular pets. They're fantastic pets. I My family has one at home um, that I love very much and they are, actually have a lot of personality, uh, but you do need to be very careful when you have a pet like this. They're a big commitment. You have to be um, very aware of the temperature of their environment as they're cold blooded animals. And you also have to be very aware of their diet. You can't give them too much protein or else that can cause a a lot of illnesses mm. and damage to their internal organs. So. What kind of food do they eat typically? So they eat uh, when it comes to protein a lot of times insects or like uh, you know like crickets things like that and then they eat a lot of green leafy vegetables so those are the best things for them and a little bit of fruit every once in a while. Oh he's so soft underneath here. Yes. A little neck there. That is where they get their name is a beard. Uh, ah. They have this pouch right here uh, and that, they use that to communicate. You can actually tell when a bearded dragon is feeling threatened or upset because they will puff this uh, this pouch out and it will actually turn a darker color. Uh oh, so at least we know he's happy right now. Very relaxed. He loves scary <laughs> news now. He really does. And you guys actually have some new animals out at the zoo. We do. Today is the first day that we are excited to officially introduce the much awaited brand new habitats to our, or brand new inhabitants to our Hilbert family primate habitat. There they are. Aww. We have four new monkeys. They are two different species. We have a pair of spot, lesser spot nosed Gwenins, which is that, and then a pair of Allen swamp monkeys Aww. there. Um, they are very excited and can't wait to meet visitors. So right now we're going through an introduction process with the resident species, which is colobus monkeys. Uh, so we are gradually introducing them to each other. We're hoping they're going to be able to live in a big group together and be able to explore that habitat all the time. So in the meantime, you're going to see them rotating on and off exhibit, either the group of this four or the colobus monkeys, but they are very cute and we're very excited. And you guys had great weather for your start. And if people want to check out the zoo, we'll have their address here on the screen. And what are your hours now? So we are open daily, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last admission at 4.15. Uh, sometimes we have some differences due to events. Just make sure you visit eriezoo.org or follow our social media. Very nice. They're right next to us. So go visit them on West 38th Street or visit their website for more. Thanks so much, Emily and our little Norby. Norby. For coming in. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for having us.